Alright everyone, Web Collector here. This is a video I said I did a long time ago and this is a review or just a look at my deactivated Bren light machine gun. I'll just show you it. This is deactivated to the new specifications. I haven't got the uh, the certificate on me, it's in my loft I think, but at a later date I'll probably get a picture of it and put it in the more info section just so people can, well, just to prove it is deactivated, which it is. So this is a Mark 1 brand gun from 1942 and I can show you the date on it, hang on, Mark 1. D 1942 and over here hang on I'll find the serial number okay, hang on. that would match the certificate right so this is the brain gun. Uh, I'll show you the bullets it fires first if you want. These are the bullets it would fire. These are uh, inert as well, already been fired. That's a British 303 round, and just to show you, there's a 9mm to show you the difference. So that's what it would shoot. load them in the top of the magazine there. You can't cock this one with bullets in though because the barrel's blocked up. It just breaks and just dents the just dents the bullets. Right, so the sight should be here, but uh, when I was sold this, the person who sold me it didn't tell me that the sight had been broken and welded back on with a tiny little spot weld. And I was walking along one day and my trousers caught on the sight and broke it off. This is the sight, which would be just there. And you turn this dial. And it would elevate it, but it's broken. Uh, what else? This uh, lever here is to change the barrel. You can't want to deactivate it, so they, they, they uh, weld the barrels in. But what you do, you just slip that up and then you grab the Brown and take it off as this handle for you carrying, or if you want to shoot it sort of Rambo style, you could shoot like that. This one's also got adjustable bipod, which not all of them have. Uh, that's the front sight. Turn it around now, show you some more details. On this side you've got the cock and lever just here, which folds out. Put it back. That's cocked now. You can hear the force of that, how powerful it is. You know, just for the bulk to go forward. This switch, this uh, lever here, you press to take the magazine out. And then it's got a sliding cover there. 
stop dirt getting in, I suppose. These weigh 22, 22.8 ounces, uh, sorry, not ounces, 22.8 pounds. They're 42.9 inches long. Fires 303 cartridges, which I showed you. Barrel is 25 inches, and they've got an effective range up to 600 yards or 550 meters. Other features, it's got a bit here for attaching it to, yeah, there's quite a lot of different accessories, but I think you can attach this onto a great big tripod for shooting at planes, there, or a handle I think. There's also another one, this end, another one of those there for fixing either a handle or fixing it onto the bipod thing, the big tripod. There's a loop there for a sling which would attach uh not sure where it would go, look the other part. Overall it's a good gun for a deactivated. Current specifications means this one you can cock it and fire it, dry fire it, that's it. You can't really take it apart, you can't load dummy cartridges into it. Um, and it costs £225, which isn't bad for a gun this size. I bought it from Worldwide Arms Limited. Uh, you can still get these on different websites from, I don't know, about 300 quid now. You might, you might be able to get one on World War Down Limited. But I've looked on their website and they didn't have any, but they might get some more. What other markings has it got? I'll show you. Showed you the mark one, the part and the date. But there's the cock and over again. I might cock it again. Select the switch there for what how it's shooting, like safety and I'll try and get closer on that. A S I think it's There's the switch there, three different positions I think. A, S and P. Yeah, 1942, uh, so it could have been used in World War II, I'm not sure if it actually was. I think it was took to one of the beaches or something, a whole consignment of them and then whatever happened they got abandoned and then years later it was recovered and they deactivated some of them for selling to collectors who haven't got licenses I suppose. Good bit of history. Definitely worth buying. I'll add some more info in the more info section, a whole lot of info about these. Yeah, that's it, that's the deactivated Bren light machine gun. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.